What's up everyone? My name is Claire Jenks. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're shuttling at Darrington, which is about an hour and 15 minutes north of Seattle in northern Washington. And it is a gorgeous day. Um, my buddies are currently riding one of the trails. We got some loam, we got some tech, we've got some flow, really everything here. Darrington is an incredible trail system growing by the year. And there's a pretty cool movie about it, um, which you could check out down in the description below. I'll link that. Um, okay, well, let's get started. Today, we're gonna show you some trails, learn about the shuttle situation, and afterwards, find some food. Darrington mountain bike trails are located just north of the town of Darrington, Washington. Take a left off SR 530 North Highway onto FR 2810 North Mountain Road. Keep driving up the road until the view begins to open up and you see a short road branching down to the left. This is the bottom shuttle lot and it's the hub for Darrington mountain bike trails. In the summertime, it's a rockin' party. Take a look up to the immediate hillside and you'll see the steepness of what you're going to be riding. But what comes down must first go up, so let's hop in the shuttle rig. Each shuttle trip takes about an hour, i.e. 30 minutes up, 30 minutes down, and it's easy to follow the main road. No complicated turnoffs here. Trucks will have no problem getting up this road, but lower clearance vehicles such as an Impreza will spend more time picking around obstacles. We've arrived at the top lot. Skyline is the easiest of the Darrington trails. See you on the flip right, side. Yeah, man. See at the bottom. Let's do it. After a mellow pedal, the trail intersects with another spur from the summit called Hoot Owl, and then begins to drop down, getting a bit more rocky and committing. Let's branch off briefly though and check out Jackpot, a black diamond trail. My GoPro went kaput here, so we'll be grabbing some footage from my other cameras mounted on my trusty shuttle buddies. Special shout out reserved for them. Jackpot is a definite step up in difficulty. Classic North Shore DH mountain biking. Roots, a rock roll, optional doubles, and tight trees higher up, which lead into fast tight turns and errant stumps on the lower side. That was awesome. It joins back up with Skyline and will continue on down. On lower Skyline, things get a bit smoother, but there are still rocky chunks and roots that can catch you off guard. Is there a riding spot or route you want to know more about? Drop a comment below and I'll add it to my filming list. If you're finding this video valuable, hit the like and subscribe buttons to show your support. Yeah. The lower part of Skyline feeds right into the shuttle road. Take a quick right and pedal for a minute or two until you reach the party at the parking lot. Let's hop in the truck and head on up for a lap on Out of the Blue. Get this show on the road. Keep the rubber side down. Don't you know? Pedal uphill around the locked yellow gate and up North Mountain Road. Note, this is also the way to get to Showcase Showdown, a double black that feels much like jackpot with a couple more committing sections. We're gonna keep pedaling for about 10 to 15 minutes, roughly a mile, until you reach the summit and this timber frame fire tower, which was built in 1966 and active throughout the 1980s. If you're lucky, you'll catch views of Baker, Higgins, White Horse, White Chuck, and Bald Mountains. Feast your eyes, then head down the road a minute and turn on to my favorite ride in here. Out of the blue. After a quick couple turns and a flowy section, you'll be in for a quick climb. Oh yeah, I forgot the climb on this trail. <laughs> and then an incredible leg crushing descent. The first downhill section of Out of the Blue is the most difficult. Off camber, rooty, steep, and that's before it rains. This is Pacific Northwest downhill at its finest. This trail is no joke, both in length and accessibility. The logging road that intersects it is inaccessible due to a locked gate. So bring water, snacks, and strong quads. Don't forget to take in the sights though, because this trail also has those in abundance.
Emerge from the bottom of Out of the Blue and continue straight down Beverly Road, the logging road on Trailforks. If you're tired of shuttling, you can always check out the skills park you passed on your way in. Made up of a few fun loops, you can work on berms, flow, and some technical features, especially on hook tender. Or just do a mellow pedal on the lower green section on the left-hand side of the road. Whenever you're ready to leave the party, go out the way you came in, heading through Darrington to pick up some food and bevies. There are some great options. My favorite milkshakes ever are at Burger Barn. But there's also Dos Agaves, Rivertime Brewing, Hometown Bakery, and Red Top Tavern for a good brew. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a fantastic ride. My name is Claire Jenks, and I'll see you out on the trails.